Yeah, they switched everything around. <clears throat> like I say, that's not the order that they... They're always like, they're fighting our tank, blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, 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 no. Uh, there's nobody alive from, from the war with Germany. There's no way, like, the, the war ended, like, in 1920 or before that. Way before that. Um, Germany was overthrown somewhere around, uh, I guess, like I say, 1890, probably. The war with China, yeah, that war began. Uh, basically, we went from one to the next as, well, pretty much they just, they went over there and they were just going after China next, pretty much, you know. I mean, well, we, we United States, or I mean, America basically retook Germany, basically, but there was nothing there. It was just rubble. You know, by the time, by the time we won and, and fought off the black people, there's so many people, black people dead, that's not even funny. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, basically we won the war. I won the war in um, in uh, uh, in Germany f from the black people, winning the war from the blacks and the whites, pretty much retook the country, basically, and then and then meanwhile a splinter group is going up. They're trying to get a battle going in China, basically. They tr they were trying to take over China. They just went from one country. Certain people went from one country to another country because it still had manufacturing capability and all kinds of stuff. And we were trying to rebuild. Germany, and basically it was pretty much ground zero for, for for quite a long time. Like there was nothing there. Like everyone would say, there's nothing there. It was just rubble. Um, and most of those people, like we were almost already rebuilding it by the time those people those people weren't even alive. They're just reading. Like all these wars, they happened long, long ago. Like no one's alive from them. No one could be alive, except for maybe the guy with the with the scooped out eyeballs. And that was the war that, that these people are talking about, you know, with China. Uh, JFK, Richard Nixon, and the black people were scooping out eyeballs in China and other places, you know. So, like I say, JFK and Nixon, they were horrible, horrible people. And, and they wanted to cover it up, and a bunch of Vietnam vets that wanted to keep the money wanted to cover it all up. They scooped out eyeballs in China. They just don't want China to know that that basically, you know, USA basically pretty much tried to, you know, raped and killed so many people in China. They just want to make it look like the USA is such a great country, but when Bowen, in fact, you know, Nixon was the one that was attacking China the whole entire time. JFK was the one that was attacking China, along with Jimmy Carter and John McCain. They weren't attacking Germany, they were attacking China. And along, and then that war was going on the whole time all the way up until Vietnam and the end of Vietnam when they were actually, when they lost pretty much against China. So the Vietnam vets, they lost versus China. They, we took over Germany and my guys took over Germany and then they started getting in there basically and trying to get units to go up into China, but China was at peace. So anyway, a bunch of them started when, when after we won in China and we were winning and we'd won, and a bunch of were like we won, oh yeah! And it was happy times in China because we finally kind of well there was nothing left. No one wanted to be there. It was just rubble, just miles and miles of destroyed buildings. Everybody was in America or in or in or in, or on this continent, so they turned their attention to China to try and get up in there, and they thought they would win again in China. Um, but they really didn't win. Like we were retaking over, and like I say, the black people had already left, going back to the the human wave, had basically decimated Germany, and then left. At least what little of it was left, because we carbon bombed a lot of them. Anyway, and and were and and they and they were basically gone. You know, and, and and China was the only thing that was left standing still. But it wasn't really much, and so. The American forces turned their ch their attention and started attacking China, because they had such a big force from Germany or whatever, going up that way. And like I said China was building tanks and stuff, and they basically fought them. Well, there was a little bit of occupation, and they fought them back all the way back down into into the into the water. They pushed them back into the sea. And these Vietnam and these people are basically just reading reports and trying to say they're trying to cover up the fact that they're attacking China, and they're trying to say that they were working in Germany. But Germany was already dead, so you know, and then and then some Vietnam vets, which are their kids or whatever, are basically like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, you know, they lost basically. 
and they were when they're not heroes they're anti-heroes very much the native heroes and basically there's a bunch of people in china that are heroes those are the heroes so because they stopped what is the usa people like i said they're not america america basically fought and retook and retook uh, germany and then we started rebuilding it usa and vietnam they attacked china and so and they're really bad people horrible people so anyway and that's the way it was and everyone know, knew it at the time and that's why i'm a hero and they're very much anti-heroes scum of the earth actually anyway and that's why i actually continued on and was very powerful and was very well loved for centuries afterwards and that's why i'd be another reason why i'm ls and not and that's why there's all this ls stuff because you know i'm ls so you know and they're just liars that killed and lost the battle and got killed themselves and took quite a few people with them anyway so and they'll probably be saying how they're this or that until they're blue in the face. Just like Rodney will be like, I died for my country. I fought for my country. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 no. And you fought in China. You did not fight in Germany or anywhere else. You were killing Chinese people and murdering them and mostly innocent unarmed civilians. Some fight. Right, they're just shooting unarmed civilians. And they're shooting, and they're shooting Swedish. They're shooting Germans. They're raping that they're they're raping people they were shooting they're, they're shooting every anyone that was in china basically got shot they you know they kind of tried not to shoot the foreigners because people would notice but a lot of people died in china and the vietnam vets covered everything up so anyway and they will cover that up for they covered it up for 100 years or so Talked until they're blue in the face, and nobody would ever believe them at the time either. Everyone was like, You're crazy. What are you talking about? You're insane. Even the Chinese. They just tried, and eventually they tried to kill old people, so the truth would never be known. Because they tortured all those Chinese people to try and make them think that to switch it around and get switched around to where they're heroes of Germany, but they're actually murderers of China. You know? And the Vietnam vets knew what they were and knew that they were horrible and murderers. And it's just this little switch around where Nixon's a piece of shit and a lot of people are a piece of shit. And I'm like this crimson god that's really awesome and cool and and saved so many people. I saved I saved Germany. I, I saved the Germans. I saved China. I saved a lot of people. I saved Russia. You know, I stopped them and fought them and fought them into the sea. And I'm a hero. Epic warrior. But, you know, I mean, like I said, there's more of them, and they have more to lose. Like, they don't, I guess, I don't know, they don't, they, either they fear whatever, or basically they just want to hold on to their money and their nice houses. You know, they just killed and raped a lot of women. Most of their wives left them after they found out. The, wife, the Even the children won't see some of these people on TV. They, the children hate them because they know what they did. They know they're rapists and murderers and drug addicts and killers. They have no, they have no morals and no nothing. Everybody hated them. 